Good news, my fellow drag and droppers. We made a special video just for you. You might be wondering how does moving things with your mouse make up for an entire video? Let me show you. Let's start with what's probably the most obvious one, saving a file to mFiles. You can select one or several files at one go and then drag them all to mFiles. You can even take a whole folder full of content if you like. In these cases, we usually just want to grab the insides and get rid of the folders themselves. Drag and drop is quite handy with emails as well. Just decide whether you need the whole email or is the attachment the one you want. It makes a difference where you drop things. Drag and drop on top of a document means you want to replace the contents. If you happen to replace something by accident, not to worry, version history will get us out of that trouble. If you have a file that's related to a project, you can drag the file on top of that project. MFiles then knows to pick the project name on the metadata card and even suggests other metadata based on that as well. If you've seen the relationships video, then you already know about linking objects within MFiles together. Remember, if you want to link two documents together, you'll need to do some right-clicking magic in between to make it happen and to avoid replacing contents. Then, the grand finale. Drag and drop into a view. This is extremely useful if you're working on a certain project and you need to save documentation related to it. When you drag and drop into a view, mFiles checks the filters of the view and adds that information on the metadata card. Card gets filled almost on its own. As an added tip, I recommend pinning your favorite views so that later on you can use that to do the dropping into a view a little quicker. I hope this video wasn't too much of a drag for you, huh? Huh? I'll share more of my tips in the next video. See you there.